but we also spoke to Wing Commander Rakesh Sharma, India's first man in space. And he said that he felt more nervous watching the launch this time around than when he was himself in the spaceship. It was an emotional experience all over again. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to, to relive uh, my flight itself, and this time I was viewing it. Um, I, I must say the tension levels were higher because uh, earlier on I was uh, in the launcher, and uh, of course I was aware that uh, the launch was going live back to India, but, uh, but this was different, and I'm so uh, happy and proud that it all went off well, and ISRO has achieved a first level of success on this particular mission. It certainly uh, announces to the world that uh, ISRO has kind of come of age and uh, it is now ready to uh, take on science and exploration in a big way, having already translated the earlier vision of uh, Sarabhai, which is to uh, have science work for the common man. So after a successful applications program, here ISRO really is investing in the future, and I see no reason why they are not going to achieve the same level of success as they have done in the first phase of their program. All right, congratulations for ISRO coming in from the Prime Minister and President as well as World Space Agencies. We spoke to Amitabh Ghosh, a NASA scientist in Washington just earlier this morning. Yes, and he said that Indians in the U.S. as well as uh, scientists and Indian embassy officials were all celebrating the moment. I think this is an incredible achievement. I think this heralds um, the arrival of India into, the ex in, into a very exclusive club. So um, we are actually at Washington, D.C., and we are celebrating. Uh, so we have our colleagues from NASA with me and the Indian Embassy folks. So this is an incredible achievement um, at any level. Although the moon has been al already visited, you have to remember um, humans are going back to the moon again. NASA is going back to the moon to set up a lunar base in 10 years. Um, all nations are looking back to the moon for habitation. Um, so, so this really plays into the overall grand scheme of things that whenever you want to set up habitation somewhere, you need really detailed information, detailed maps, which in part Chandrayaan will be able to provide. So I think it's an incredible opportunity.